This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by FreshBooks. So you may have heard the rumor that Huawei and Google might partner up to produce the next Nexus device, but that's not the half of it. You see, not only can Huawei help Google get deeper into China, but Google can help Huawei get out. First, let's talk Huawei. The company has been growing steadily over the last few years, and according to IDC, Huawei is now the fourth largest smartphone vendor in the world by market share, securing 5.2% of shipments in the first three months of 2015. It was third for a while until rival Lenovo acquired Motorola. Huawei has been doing well in China and in a number of other emerging markets around the world. It's also been doing increasingly well in Europe, but has yet to crack the lucrative US market. It's one thing to sell quality hardware at knockdown prices and generate a lot of sales, but quite another to sell premium devices with a huge markup. And it's what most companies aspire to do, and Huawei is no different. The Huawei Watch was probably the biggest surprise of the Mobile World Congress. Few expected anything to get excited about, much less the best looking Android Wear smartwatch to date. Since then, we've been hearing persistent rumors about a Huawei Nexus smartphone. Now, if you listen carefully, you'll hear geeks giving birth over that news. If you look at the ebb and flow of Google's partnerships in the Android scene, you can generally see the motivation behind them. HTC and Samsung produce smartphones capable of competing with the iPhone. LG and Asus offered lower prices without compromising a lot of quality. Could they work out some kind of deal to include Google services in Huawei's Chinese smartphones? Will Huawei wield its influence with the Chinese government to help hammer out some kind of deal with Google? Maybe Huawei will help Google to gain market share for a Chinese Play Store. If Google does want to get into China, then partnering with Huawei makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so you remember that squabble between the Chinese government and Google a few years ago? China wanted to restrict or control search results within Google products. Google was not having that, and so they pulled out or seriously limited their products within China. Now, perhaps in exchange for Huawei's influence with the Chinese government, Google may choose to help Huawei have more influence outside China, i.e. the North American market. Savvy? A partnership with Google could provide design insight, marketing tips, and be interpreted as a general thumbs up for the company that many Western consumers have little knowledge of. Google could help open doors for Huawei, but it won't do so unless it stands to get something big. And my friends, nothing is bigger than the Chinese market. Cha Chang. There is another potential attraction for Google with Project Fi. If Google was looking to scale this service up, offering seamless transition between Wi-Fi and LTE, it could do a lot worse than partnering with Huawei. It has the technology, the expertise, and the patents that Google may need. It's not gonna happen in the short term, but in the future, who knows? Now, I was reading in the comments from yesterday's show where someone expressed the concern about using Chinese manufactured smartphones and possibly being monitored or watched or surveilled by the Chinese government through those Chinese manufactured phones. And that is a significant fear for many people. It's been covered in the media here in the West uh, quite a few times. And, uh, you know, people are saying they're not going to buy Chinese manufactured phones because of that fear. I would argue that once they see decent quality phones that are significantly cheaper than a Samsung flagship device or an iPhone, those fears are going to quickly fade away. I'm not saying that the Chinese government wouldn't do that. God knows what governments do these days with surveillance and spying, it's insane. I'm just saying it's not gonna be an issue when they can get a great phone at a cheap price. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now you guys know I have no problem paying for a product that solves a pain point and FreshBooks solves some serious pain points. I've used it before. It allows me to invoice my clients in an easy, simple way and they pay me in an easy, simple way. And who does not like that? Managing your expenses is also just as easy. You can take a picture of your receipts with your phone and FreshBooks pretty much does the rest. If you have any questions, help is free forever. And you can always count on FreshBooks' award-winning support rock stars to go above and beyond. To get started, go to freshbooks.com forward slash Android and enter Android Authority in the how did you hear about us section. Thanks for watching guys. Now I wanna remind you that I get a lot of questions, a lot of the same questions both about phones and just about me personally. So 
next week, probably next Wednesday or Friday, depending on our editorial calendar. One of those shows will just be about me kind of answering non-tech related questions. All the hosts are gonna try and put this out uh, this month. We've been asked to do that. So again, I got like two or three decent questions from last week's show. If you have any questions that you just wanna know about me or Android Authority or about what I do, how I do, any kind of questions you wanna ask uh, that's non-tech related, put them in the comments below and I will choose the best ones and make a whole show of it, like five or six questions or so. If you guys find that interesting, you certainly liked our last bio videos we did last year. Don't forget about my brethren, my bros in Android, who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.